Hey y'all, welcome to Not Sure What's Cooking, coming to you from the Ozarks. Today I'm going to be making a creamy cabbage zucchini vegetable soup. All right, and anyway, I think it'll be delicious. <laughs> I've never made it before, but I kind of got the idea. It just came to me, but um, all right. Well, let's get started here. All right, you're going to need two cups of shredded cheese, and that's to your liking, whatever kind you want. Um, I just use Colby Jack and cheddar. All right, three tablespoons of sugar. Now, our neighbors, a friend of ours, gave us this zucchini, so you're not going to need all of it. So if you buy it at the store, the smaller ones, just use half of it. I used only a quarter of this, okay? Then you're going to need some Creole seasoning, pepper, and parsley, okay? And then you're going to need one carton of heavy whipping cream. Then you're going to need three potatoes. Uh, wash them all up. I've already cut two, and this is the size that you want to cut them right here. Then you're going to need a half a cabbage, and I've already cut some up in here, and I've cut some up right here. All right. Then you're going to need, I don't know, maybe four or five. Um, cauliflowers um, just cut them up you know small like that then this is about six carrots now you can use as much as you want and then a quarter of a radish okay and then here's the zucchini that I've already cut up you just cut it up in little bitty cubes like that and then you're gonna need about a quarter of a onion. All right, now I'm going to show you how. And this this is a crock pot dump and go. And if you've seen my other videos, you know I like to just dump it and go. And this is another one you can put on at nighttime or in the morning while you're at work, and dinner will be served. All right, and then the potatoes, just cut them like this. And I always, always use the skin because it gives it a really good flavor. All right, so you cut them like this in two. And then you want to cut them like in three different sections where they're small like this, okay? All right, now the onion. Usually I use chunks of onion, but we're not going to use them real big today on this recipe because you don't want the onion to overpower the cabbage and zucchini. So just, you know, kind of like this right here in little bitty pieces. I mean, that's not little bitty, but, you know, you get the concept. All right, now I'm going to dump all of this in here. It looks like a lot, but you know, if you've ever cooked cabbage, you know it's going to cook down. Then I'm going to put all the seasonings. The Creole, I cook with Creole a lot. All right, now I'm going to put the sugar. This kind of just gives it a um, sweet, spicy taste. All right. Then I'm going to take all this yummy cheese and just throw it in there. Okay. Cheese always makes things taste good. Yum. All right. I guess it's good. All right. Well, I guess we'll find out if it is. <laughs> Just joking. It's good. Okay, now 
you don't want a whole bunch of liquid in there. That's the reason why I'm just using a um, just one and not adding any water. Because when the cabbage cooks, it's going to, um, you know, whatever you call it, make more water. <laughs> make more water there. All right. And then just put it on the crock pot. Turn the crock pot on low for about seven to eight hours. Mainly, I usually cook it for about seven and a half hours. Now, your crock pot might be a lot better than mine, or it might not have as much power. So it just really determines. And then after it's all done, and this is great for vegetarians. Great. After it's all done, done I'll be back and show you the end results. Okay, you guys, I couldn't share it last night because I was really, really busy. But anyway, this is what the uh, cabbage zucchini creamy soup looks like. Look at that. I mean, this could be for a vegetarian or anyone, really. I mean, it looks so delicious and it is so creamy and delicious. All right, let me take a bite. Oh, and I added some parsley on top too. And I added a little bit more Creo. Mm. Okay, and I'm going to get a little bite of the potato. Hope it's not too hot. Mm. If y'all try this, let me know what y'all think. But otherwise, I mean, this is really good. I'm really shocked. <laughs> but anyway, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and put that like button in the oven and turn it on 350 degrees so it's real, real hot. And squash, squash, squash. Thank you. And until next time, be blessed and safe. And I will see you next time. Bye-bye.